Welcome back. Today, former President Donald Trump will return to a Manhattan courtroom where prosecutors and defense attorneys will continue to seat a jury in his hush money trial. Trump faces 34 felony counts accused of falsifying business records. Prosecutors say Trump covered up a hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels regarding their alleged affair before the 2016 election. This morning, our legal analyst Whitney Trailer joins us to talk more about this. Thanks for coming in. Sure. It's an interesting case for it sure. Is. Jury yeah. selection starts starts up again yeah. today. How hard is it going to be to find an impartial jury? Well, it's going to be very difficult. I mean, and that's the heart of our jury system is that the jury is unbiased. And, and really the goal is, because everybody's going to know about this case and, and former President Trump and things like that. But the question is, can you just listen to the evidence and, and start there? And so Wadir starts off, the, usually the easy part is there's sort of a general questionnaire that they answer and things like, you know, where they live, do you know any of the parties, things like that. Well, here, they're not even going to get beyond that because it'll ask them things like, what news do you watch, what newspapers do you read, that kind of thing. So the, already people are going to just, even by their basic uh, habits, will already kind of be divisive. So it's going to be hard to find a jury. So we're going to go all the way down the what-ifs trail okay. here. So if he is found guilty, yeah. could he face jail time? Yes, he could. He, okay. These, I mean, these are. It's it's a low level. It's a series E felony, but uh, and it's it's tied to not just paying the money, but to get around campaign finance issues. So that's that's really the the issue. And so yes, he could be. There's 34 counts. I guess you could get four years for each count. Here, I think the total he could get would be 20 years. But I, that's very doubtful. He's a first time offender. This is a nonviolent crime. Those kind of things. So it'll probably be some alternative. Do you think he will get jail time? And if he does, yes. can he still run for president? Well, uh, I'll answer the second part first. <laughs> yes, he can still run for president because all you have to do is be, what, a natural born citizen, live in the country for the last 14 years and be 35 years old. So it doesn't say anything about felonies or things like that. So yes, he could still run and he could run from um, from jail. He could still, if, if he were, I mean, I doubt it will be jail time. So it would probably, if he's convicted, it would probably be something like probation or maybe some kind of house arrest or a curfew type situation. So he could still uh, I think operate things, but because you know he's entitled to Secret Service for for life. Right. So if if there was some sort of jail sentence, how that would work with the Secret right. Service? It might even raise some supremacy clause issues where they're saying, "Hey, state, you're getting in the way of the federal government operating." So there could be some other legal challenges. Last question for yes. you: Will he be able to vote for himself if convicted? Right. Isn't that interesting? So because there's the four cases going on, this is the only one that's happening before. Uh, the November election. So could he, in, since 2020, he's voted in Florida. And so Florida has, they kind of honor the disenfranchisement uh, clause of other states. So if he's convicted in another state, they're going to follow what that state does. Okay. And I think what New York says is you can't, uh, you can't vote while incarcerated. So if there's some sort of sentence related to uh, an incarceration type thing, uh, he, he possibly could not vote for himself, which, which, which would be really interesting. Well, this is historic for sure. Yes. And just getting through the jury selection process is going to be yeah. very interesting. Yeah. And he has to sit through the trial as a, as a defendant in New York, and it's going to take at least, I would say, at least eight weeks. Because, I mean, the jury selection is going to take a long time in and of itself. And it's every single day. I mean, I know that he asked to go to his son's graduation and yeah. he said uh, no. Yeah, every day except Wednesday. So, um, but he's using it. I mean, he's a, he's a good politician. That there's a great politician in, mm -hmm. in campaigning. And so now he's using the court as a uh, fundraiser. Right. And that seems to be working very well. So he's making it work. This is the first of many times I'm sure that we're going to talk about yes, this. Yes, over the next eight weeks. Yeah. All yeah. right, Whitney, thank you. Sure.